I'm colorblind. Colorblind? I don't see race in my classes. I'm colorblind. It's a good thing. I don't know about that. If you're colorblind, you fail to see that skin color has consequences for a person's status and well-being. Well, I treat everybody the same because I'm not a racist. But if you don't see skin color, you're blind to your own white privilege. Hey, if I was privileged, I wouldn't be working here. I'm just saying, all the kids are the same to me. It's the only way to be fair to all of them. Well, if I were to choose a colorblind approach, I would be overlooking the essence of who they are. Oh, come on. Their individuality is based on a lot more than race. The Civil Rights Act passed a long time ago, and if electing a black president twice doesn't mean we're living in a post-racial society, I don't know what does. It would be nice if it were that easy. If this were really a post-civil rights era, race would no longer be a major obstacle to social, political, and economic participation for most people of color. Color? I don't care if people are black, white, yellow, green, or purple. It's all the same to me. Color blindness makes us blind to the effects of color. But if I talk about race, won't my students say I'm a racist? If you don't talk about race, you fail to provide an identity safety model. It is possible to discuss the issue with students in a planned and well-thought-out way, but you have to do your homework first. It's not easy to talk about this in the classroom when I don't know much about my students' home lives. I feel like a stranger here. Well, you can start by getting to know the parents. And I have some excellent books on social justice that you can borrow. It's so important to discuss these issues as teachers. We should do this more often. Huh. Maybe I was mistaken to overlook race in my classroom dynamics. I find that my students participate more and achieve academically when I value everyone's social and cultural views and use this cultural knowledge when planning and implementing instruction. More participation would be great. I want my students to feel that they have a voice in my classroom and, and that their experience matters. Created using Powtoon.